we're looking for body fat calipers. So, there they are. You guys wanna say hi to Charlie? <laughs> Check out how this cat sleeps. What's up, Charlie? Anyways, um, so guys, welcome to my video. I have not done a video in a while. Um, we are in a new home. We moved, um, I wanna say about three weeks ago. And um, I'm prepping right now. Less than nine weeks out from Popeye's Classic. It's gonna be the big fall show this year. Um, I've done this show um, three times already. Uh, twice bodybuilding, once men's physique. And we are getting ready whoa, to do it again. Uh, so right now we're sitting around 220 pounds. We just wanna start um, tracking those body fat levels again. Um, doing our prog progress updates. Um, I don't use a coach, I'm self-trained, and part of having a coach is having like somebody for your accountability, and when you don't have that, you have to be self-accountable. So, one thing I do is I vlog, uh, record these, um, helps me track my progress, helps me be honest um, about where I am, where I have been. I'm gonna be able to look back now and say, hey, you know what, eight weeks out from BC's last year, body fat was somewhere else, Right now we're sitting at five millimeters. So it's leaner than I was expecting. Anyways, um, yeah, that's trippy. Um, let's talk about this tool for a second. So this tool right here, this is called a body fat caliper. You guys have probably seen some goofy other ones before. Um, I like this one. This one's got preset tension from these springs. What happens is you basically put it over your body fat. It puts a, an even amount of pressure on the body fat and you get a thickness measurement. And what you do is you measure in the same place every time, week after week, and you can watch that body fat get thinner. So um, yeah, right now we're between like five and six millimeters skin fold right beside the navel. And that is gonna be like our mark for progress, so we'll check it this week, we'll check it every week, and uh, hopefully it gets down to about three millimeters. Um, because of the skin fold, you're measuring the thickness of the skin twice, so three millimeters of the actual skin, um, the sub-Q fat at three millimeters is only really like one and a half millimeters, so that's pretty thin. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll kind of, uh, we'll look back at some of our older videos, see where we were um, eight weeks out from our last show, and we'll adjust our diet accordingly. Um, I'm hoping to do um, men's physique, or sorry, uh, classic physique and bodybuilding, depending on where my weight's at. Um, just under six feet, so at 5'11", I'm allowed to be 208 pounds. Um, it's a little bit light for bodybuilding at my height, 208, I'd like to be heavier, but um, we're doing a little bit of a um, compromise there, I guess, to do both. I'd like to do both categories. The new classic physique um, category is a little bit exciting for me. Uh, I really like the idea of it. I'm not a huge fan of the weight restrictions. Um, the weight restrictions to me are not fair. People who have like a thicker waist or whatever. Um, me, even when I get right down to show diet, uh, I have like a 30 to 31 inch waist, which is like not really tiny for somebody my size. Uh, I naturally have like a smaller frame, narrower uh, shoulders. And... Um, being told I can only be 208 pounds doesn't give me the space that I want to get that V. Um, to have that nice V taper to, to resemble a classic physique, uh, with a 31 inch waist, you want to have like a certain size chest and shoulders. And with the weight, with the weight limits, it's hard for me to get that proportion. Um, so yeah, um, I may end up finding that I don't like what I look like at 208. It's, it's a good size. Like I'm, I, I had to be happy with it, but it doesn't leave a lot of room for growth. Um, Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys around our new property. So we just moved about 30 minutes east from Langley, which is the suburb of Vancouver, and now we're in Chilliwack. Never lived in Chilliwack before. It's quite far from where I was born and raised, but um, we ended up making a ton of money on our house in Langley, so we looked east at what we could kind of get with some of our money, and uh, this is our new backyard. We're working on our fire pit here. Uh, the previous owner left a truckload of um, rocks 
that we have to distribute in the garden. So this is my fun cardio this year. I'm going to be hucking rocks into the wheelbarrow and spreading them all over the yard, which is like a ton of work, but it's good cardio. And we've got a new protein sponsor here. Um, I grew up on an acreage out in Delta. I've always loved animals. My parents never really had any like farm animals, but we fixed that. So these are my girls. And he's my boy. He's my boy. I named him Arnie. What's up, Arnie? He's kind of like a stud. He fertilizes all the eggs and um, we're gonna order an incubator so we can like um, keep the eggs warm and the incubator like rotates the eggs. So hopefully we'll have some chicks soon. Um, yeah, so these girls, uh, they spit out a couple eggs every day. Uh, it's like a seasonal thing. They're still getting settled. I think it was a little bit traumatic for them to move here. So there's, they've still given us probably what, two or three eggs a day uh, since we got them. We've had them for just over a week. It's their little house. It's like a garden shed converted. Anyways, they're cool. I like them. So we're uh, planning a trip to uh, Los Angeles the day after my show. We're actually flying out the next day. So we'll be nice and shredded. We're going to be uh, taking the girls down to Disneyland. And then daddy gets to go to Venice Golds. This should be sick crash some parties, show me who the man is. I'll be all shredded. Classic physique, hopefully I got like a trophy or something to talk about. Anyways, um, yeah, new house is pretty cool. Um, it's actually quite a bit bigger than our old house. Um, the further you move from Vancouver, the less anything costs. So if you live closer to Vancouver and you sell your house and move away, you can get a lot more. So that's kind of cool. That's what we did. Um, nice big fat kitchen size of that fridge fridge freezer gains for days um, this is our lovely living room or the television is not yet this is our office where all the orders are filled this is a, the bathroom this is like an episode of cribs wasn't uh, planning on doing this but hey we're still under 10 minutes if you guys are still watching below. What do you guys think of this shirt? It's neon. It's a new shirt. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like office space. This is kind of embarrassingly messy right now. Uh, this is kind of where some of the magic happens. And then this is the wall we erected. Uh, it's an eight foot wall I framed in. I'm just in the middle of doing the drywall and putty. Uh, this is my project today. They put a sewage pipe along the wall and it's just like it's just, it's killing my vibe. So uh, I'm framing that in today. I ran out of two by fours. I'll be going to the gym in about half an hour. I'm gonna stop and get some two by fours, finish framing that in. And then over here, got one more piece of drywall left. We're gonna, we're gonna drywall that too. And uh, yeah, anyways, so uh, we got our big mirrors up. We got about 14 feet of mirrors. And um, we have some nice natural light coming in here. Um, so the plan for this room is we're gonna have like some gym equipment in here. I've ordered a cable crossover machine. I'm gonna get a squat rack, a barbell, some bumper plates. Um, this will give us a place to shoot video, some photos for uh, van fit apparel. Uh, this wall here is gonna be painted white and we're gonna have like a white uh, oak flooring in here, laminate. Um, hopefully I can do some like studio shots, product shots and uh, get some of the athletes in here training and uh, I don't have to like hound away at the guys at the gym to try to get in and do photo shoots and stuff because if you've ever tried to do that before, they don't want you in there. They don't want you in there with your cameras disturbing all their customers who are paying $60 a month to train in peace. Everybody goes freaking crazy when you bring a camera into the gym and start taking photos of half-naked men and women. Anyways, this is our laundry room project. We've been doing tile in here. It was linoleum in here, but linoleum is no good. Linoleum is cheap. Gotta get that tile. Anyway, so um, eight weeks out. Um, eight weeks out on Saturday, which is in two days, three days. And uh, things are coming along nicely. I'm down about five pounds. I've been dieting since uh, 10 weeks. Um, and yeah, so we're doing like um, five, six meals a day, 
350, 400 calories each. Um, I'm not crazy strict on my diet. Actually, that was the first time I just measured my body fat right now. So I was actually kind of surprised that it was down at five mils already. Um, it makes me wonder if that's like the most accurate way to check. Maybe that's just like an old man thing. I'm like 30 this year. So maybe like, I don't know, my skin's getting thinner or something. Anyways, um, that's leaner than I was expecting to be eight weeks out. And that's, it's not always a good thing because now I'm going to be like, oh, I got lots of time and I'm going to start eating crappy food, but that's not the plan. We got to keep it tight. Got to keep it tight. Um, the last few shows I did, I was not really happy with my conditioning. Um, I'm a big size, like I like size. I like being big. I like the full look. Um, I don't like getting really dialed in, but, um, <clears throat> to make that 208, I might have to dial in, which is kind of cool. Like I want to dial in, but I always want to be like 220. You know what I mean? Like I always want that big weight. I want to be like 225, like a full heavyweight. Uh, I still have a couple years to really get there and also be dialed. So... Uh, this show, we're going to be really going for that dialed look. We're going to try really hard. Um, I haven't been doing cardio. I've just been calorie restricting and uh, keeping the tempo up when I'm training. Like I said, I'm doing the yard work. I'm working in the garage. That really helps. Uh, you get those fat burners in you and you just go to work and you try not to eat. You drink lots of fluids and stay hydrated and um, <clears throat> the results come. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm going to try to put a video up every week. Oh, check it out. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. The FedEx guy's here. I ordered a Nutribullet. So I can do better shakes. My uh, blender's not very good. And, uh... It doesn't do ice. And, like, it just, like... It just gets all clogged up. So, I ordered a Nutribullet off of Amazon. And I think that's it. So that's pretty exciting. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. If you have any comments, questions about training, whatever, uh, leave them below, and I'll do my best to answer your questions in my next video. Thanks for watching.